Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel forever. Uh, you can see, right? Uh, I have just created a new playlist called Google Finance. So you can see the description. So recently I found a Google Finance a formula we can use in Google Sheet. I hope you know about the Google Sheet and there is a formula called google finance this is very helpful for traders and for investors and who wants to do analysis of the stocks with respect to various parameters parameters in the sense the fundamental analysis and the technical analysis how to do that okay we will uh, go one by one today uh, I just thought to make a series of video on the Google Finance and today I'm taking only one attribute of the stock which is called a current market price or a simply you can say the price so because if I if I make a video for like all the attributes it will take huge time and I don't want to have my video uh, like a big uh, lengthy video so I want to have a crisp pieces of videos where user or where uh, the uh, the YouTube watchers can watch that particular video of their interest so before going that just have a look no need to understand what is this Google sheet is about but trust me this I have done using the Google finance formula so this I developed for my usage I do uh, some positional trading and this this sheet will help me uh, for a proper entry and proper exit and uh, it consistently has given me a profit let's not talk on this just this is an example to show to you guys what I, what can we can do what all we can do using the Google Finance so who doesn't know about Google Sheet or Google Finance this video will be a kind of a key information for those people so who knows yeah that's good you can just if you are interested you can look at it uh, so that you may get some few more additional information throughout through my video so okay let's uh, see how it works okay before that just have a look about the Google Finance uh, syntax so like they, ha they have given the Google of Nasdaq exchange so price and this is the two dates and the daily okay let's not deep dive much into that as and when you gradually uh, get a good experience in this one you will get to know the full depth knowledge of this uh, uh, parameters what we pass to the Google Finance let's see uh, take a for example take uh, Infosys right we know Infosys let's have in a capital so Infosys right for Infosys the script name symbol is the infi okay and this belongs to NSC or even you can have a BSC okay let's look into NSC so let's get the Google Finance this is the formula I am talking. You can press tab to get that. I'm pressing tab so that uh, it it asks us to enter the uh, parameter. Okay, let's ticker. Ticker is the first parameter. Ticker is a stock name. Okay, but make sure uh, ticker uh, has exchange details as well. How? So ideally, we should have NSC, NSC colon infi. Okay, like this, we need to have a value. If you are looking for uh, the stocks listed to Nasdaq, we need to have like this. Okay, so comma say price. We need to use a small letter here as per the syntax. Okay, so we got 
944 rupees for Infosys. Let's open that Infosys share price. Okay, so this is 944.5, which is 944.5. So the same it will fetch from the Google Finance uh, data, like it has a data repository somewhere in their server. It finds and gives us this result. Very simple. So what if we don't use this price? Okay, just imagine you use this one. Again, it picks the same thing. So by default, it's the price. For other thing, other things like open, high, low, close, yesterday's close, and a lot of things we can get the historical data. A lot of things we can do. For that, we need to pass some additional parameters. So let's quickly do some exercise. Let me take out this and let's open. Let's get all Nifty 50 stocks price using the Google Sheet. I'm opening the nsindia.com. I'm fetching the market data. I'm getting into this tab. Okay, where Nifty 50 stocks are listed here, right? So the, it's a LTP, like uh, the latest traded price or a CMP, current market price. Now market is closed. Uh, we can consider this as CMP or LTP. So let's download this. Open this. I'm just opening that Excel so that I can copy paste the same information too. Uh, let me get this let me get only the symbol let me paste it here i'm pasting it okay so and then get the ltp what is that ltp here paste that okay so for concatenation like we need to add the nsc before the formula what i'll do so i'll just create a concatenation formula so what we need to do we need to have nsc colon and then the stock name right so it's a nifty 50 okay we can ignore this i'm just duplicating all the formulas okay now we have the first parameter for the google finance okay now we will get from here google finance and just simply have this and close okay if we don't give any parameter it will consider as a price. Okay. What's happening? 830. Okay. Why it took 830? It should take 830. Okay. It's a 292.55. It's like from NSE and from Google Finance. It's the same. Let's fetch all the formulas. I'm just getting everything. Okay. Now, let's see the deviation. Like, you know, uh, we have a standard deviation. Let's see how much deviates. It should be ideally zero. Okay, now you see, right? It's like zero, meaning Google Finance is fetching the proper value through this formula. So, this is how we can use the Google Finance. Uh, trust me the more and more you deep dive into this Google Finance, you can create a lot of very good analysis for your trades, for your investments. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.